my friends from YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to um, clean inside this uh, HP Pavilion 20. Um, I need to clean inside and I'm going to replace the thermal paste. Uh, everything you do is in your own risk. I am not responsible for any damage that you cause to your device. These are videos for education purpose only. Thank you. Um, we're going to need um, uh, this uh, like anti-static bracelet. If you don't have it, it's okay, but uh, um, it's a good idea to wear one of these when you open any electronic device. We're going to use um, this uh, Phillips screwdriver, and this one is uh, it's a Torx 15, okay? So we're going to use those two. We're also going to use um, the thermal paste here in a al pure alcohol and maybe this toothbrush to clean inside and a, maybe a piece of rack okay okay um so so make sure you just turn off the computer disconnect the power cable and disconnect everything you have you have by the usb ports okay disconnect everything okay just turn the the all-in-one, this is all-in-one computer, okay? So, it has only two screws to remove these back covers. Here is one and two. So then I'm gonna use the, the screwdriver. Make sure you go in the center of the screw. And, um, okay. You see, when you hear that, I, I, that means it's, it's out already. Now this side right here. Okay. So now let's see if we can take it off. Okay, it came out so easy. If just in case uh, yours doesn't come so easy with it, with like a, something, try to push it a little bit, like a, using the screwdriver. Go a little way, okay? Go push it up. So this one came out so fast. And uh, as you see, it's dirty. This is the fan for the CPU, so it's dirty. So we need to clean that. Okay, and now we're gonna use some the Torx 15 to remove um, we have uh, one, two, three, can you see it? Three, four here, five, six, seven screws, okay? We're gonna remove seven screws uh, to remove this part. Okay, I'm gonna pause my video. So that way I won't make my video super long, okay? Also, if you if you want a mark where the screw um, belongs, because this screw is short, it's short, and this one here is, is, is a large screw, so I'm gonna put it like this way, so that way I know where to put it back, because if you put, um, a long screw on the on the wrong place then you can break something okay be careful okay i'm removing the the last screw okay and like i said i put it in order you see this is belongs here then i go around because like these three are shorter okay so now to remove this plate, just like uh, pull it to the right a little bit, and then see. Okay, pull it on the side. Okay, now we're gonna remove the the fan, and this is the cable right here. Be careful when you disconnect it. Okay. We're gonna clean this very well. 
maybe with the toothbrush that I told you. And also we're gonna clean here and everything. Okay, now we're gonna clean everything as much you can with a with a brush or whatever you wanna use, like this, like for example here. Try to um, clean it uh, very well and um, make sure it's clean. And I'm gonna take my time, okay, to clean. And then I'm gonna show you how to remove this um, this, uh, this, I don't know how you call it, um, uh, metal, I'm not sure what, how do you call this, but then I'm, to, to remove this, we need to push these little pins here, and then uh, be careful because the CPU is in the in bell, it is underneath, okay? So now let, let me just clean, okay? I'm using alcohol. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean all the way here, so make sure it's, it's very clean. Like I said, take your time. Okay, I think it looks my, much better now. So, I, I also, clean uh, the, the fan with my toothbrush I went um, like one by one here and I removed the dust so now it looks clean and it, and it will work uh, better okay so now let me show you how to remove this uh, this little um, Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it has like a, look at, four hooks, so what, what you need to do is push it down and pull it to the, to the left. Okay, there is one out. Same thing here. Okay. Then there is put it uh, the same way when you put it back put it the same way okay so but we need to um, clean with alcohol this as you see is the paste is really uh, dry already so we need to let me see if I can do it with that it's kind of really dry so that, that makes the computer overheat and, and, and it's, um, make it slow or oh, sometimes the computer stop working. You see it's really dry so look. At it. So give me time okay I'm gonna remove this. Okay so I'm using this little tool. Be careful don't bend this this part. Okay, you see? It's really dry. Okay, so now it looks clean. Okay, and make sure that these little plastics are, um, are um, attached to the to this metal, okay? So now it's clean, now we're gonna clean the CPU. Be careful, be very careful. Okay, okay so we're gonna apply alcohol. Like I said, use pure alcohol, not mix it with water, okay?
Yeah, it's really dry. So now let's apply the, you see it's um, very clean now. So now uh, I'm gonna apply the, the thermal paste. Just make sure, apply just a little bit, okay? Let me show you. That's it, okay? Okay, that's it. So now uh, I'm gonna put back the. I think this is called sink. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so you see now it's, it has a, like I said, new, new paste. I already installed this again, and um, in the the fan. Remember that I said that um, that the green cable right here goes this way. Make sure the fan is well installed in the, on the right place. Okay, so that's it. Now, um, just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna install this uh, plate. Okay, I'm gonna install. Remember, this space is for this cable here, right here. Okay, so just make sure. Um, this right here. Okay, to put this plate back, look, it has three. Three hooks, one, two, and three. So this one goes right there, and then let's see. Okay, so make sure all the ports are free. See, and um, make sure all the holes for the screw are on the right place, and also the the fan. Make sure uh, it's, it's aligned right there. So now we're going to put the screw back, okay? So I'm going to start with the fan. Don't over tight uh, the, first, the first time you um, put a screw. Just uh, you just go a few rounds, but don't over tie it yet. Don't don't tie it because we want to make sure uh, the plate is even all the way around. Okay, now that uh, all the screws are um, in in the right place, um, then uh, we are ready to to tie them. But I don't tie them like uh, over ties. Just when, when you see the screw stop, then you stop. That's it. Okay. And now, like I say, make sure you um you put back the screws on the right place. Otherwise, you can break the the LCD, and then uh, then the computer won't start. So you have to be careful. You wanna make a map in a piece of paper where the screws go. That's better. Okay. Okay, before you put the cover back, I just make sure that everything is is um, well um, connected, so that way you don't have any problems in the future. To put the cover back, just go like this. Make sure it's even in the back. And press it a little bit.
for one second, okay? So now you can put the screws back, but make sure it's even all the way around first, okay? Okay, so as you see, it's even all the way around. So before you screw it back, you need to make sure this is even first. You have some uh, hooks inside here that you need to press it and it will click. See, it's still closing a little bit, but uh, okay. All the way around looks good. So let me uh, make sure it's this okay it's fine here okay okay so it's working um that's the way you uh, replace the thermal paste on uh, all in one hp pavilion 20 and also clean inside okay i hope you like my video i hope i uh, help you and uh, please check my other uh, videos and subscribe thank you so much and uh, have a good day